Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about palindrome pro number. So, what is a palindrome number? A palindrome number is a number which is equal even after reversing it. Say, for example, you have one forty-one. After reversing, you will have the same number. So, it is a palindrome number. You will have another example, one twenty-three. If you reverse it, becomes three twenty one, which is not equal. So it is not a palindrome number. So we are going to discuss the working of the loop and also the program. So uh, first, you are going to see about the initial values. So what are the initial values you need? You need a number uh, that may be an input from the user, okay? And then you need a variable to store the digit, and you need a variable to store the reverse number. So what are the steps? Steps are First, separate the digit, and then calculate reverse into ten plus digit. Why you want to multiply it ten? We will be discussing in the working. Okay, and then store it into the reverse. After uh, these steps, after the iteration is completed, compare the reverse with the input. If the input and the reverse number are same, then display display the output. So this is the steps. Now we are going to see the working. It is almost similar to the Armstrong number. If you haven't watched Armstrong Armstrong number video, uh, do watch it and then you can uh, you can understand this program very easily. Now the condition here given is num not equal to zero. Here one forty one is the input, so one forty one is not equal to zero, so it is true. So since it is true, it enters the body of the loop. Here the digit has been separated one forty one percentage ten, so the remainder is one. Now why we are multiplying it with ten is Suppose if you have a number zero and then you add it to one, it will become one. Next time when you add the second digit, that is four, so you already have reverse one. One plus four becomes five, so it won't uh, get the two-digit number. So to get the two-digit number, you are multiplying it by ten. So uh, suppose if you have the initial value of uh, reverse for the first time is zero, zero into ten is zero again. Plus one will get you the result as uh, one. So reverse are the value one year, and then uh, next step is sum that is for reducing the number. Okay, num equal to one forty one slash ten that will give you the quotient that is fourteen is stored into num. Next iteration now the num value is fourteen which is not equal to zero, so it is true it enters the uh, iteration. So inside which we have fourteen uh, modulus ten equal to four. That is uh, the remainder is four for the second time. Now we already have one in reverse. So one into ten becomes ten plus four. So once you do this, what happens is you don't add the number directly. It will convert it into two two digit number. So ten plus four it becomes fourteen. So now you can see that number has been. A number has become two digit number okay that's the reason we are multiplying by 10 every time okay now uh, reverse have the number 14 okay next step is for uh, num equal to 14 slash 10 which will give you the uh, quotient and uh, one is the quotient that will be stored in num next step num uh, not equal to 0 that is one not equal to 0 which is also true it enters the iteration now one Percentage ten equal to one. That is uh, the modulus. If the divisor is uh, <coughs> greater than the number, then the same number will be the remainder. So one is the remainder that will be stored in digit. Now already we have fourteen in reverse. So fourteen into ten is one forty plus the digit. So that is one. So one forty one will be the answer, and that will be stored in reverse. Now the final step is one. Slash ten, that is one divided by ten, which will be the quotient, that is the uh, value zero. <coughs> and now the final iteration, it comes in, uh, in the condition statement zero not equal to zero. This time, and the condition is false, so the loop terminates. So already you have a number which is stored in reverse, and then you have the input which you are going to compare it and check whether it is same. If it is same, then you are going to print it is a palindrome number or Else, it is not a palindrome number. Now we are going to see the program. So we are going to see the program. So uh, as usually, we are going to initialize the uh, variables. 
so we have num which will store the input then digit to store the digit and uh, you are initializing, initializing it with 0 and then reverse initialize with 0 which will store the reverse number and then you have uh, num equal num1 equal to 0 that is uh, duplicate number to store the input we already discussed this in Armstrong number video next uh, next uh, <coughs> statement is you are going to input the num and then store the input into a duplicate variable okay and then you are going to use uh, while loop and uh, you are going to execute this uh, till the num value becomes zero first step is digit equal to num person h10 it will give you the reminder that will be stored in digit and then the next step which will store the reverse value so reverse into 10 plus digit which will give you the reverse value which will be stored here and then you are going to reduce the num value every time so these steps will be executed till the num value becomes 0 so once it becomes 0 you are coming out of the while loop and you are going to check the duplicate variable which you already stored the input with the reverse value if the reverse value and the duplicate that is num uh, input is same then you are going to print the number is a palindrome number otherwise you are going to print it is not a palindrome number so we are going to compile this program no syntax errors so now you can execute it so now I am going to give an value I am giving 141 so you can see that 141 is a palindrome number so I am going to give an another uh, input one twenty three now you can see one twenty three is not a palindrome number okay this is how the palindrome number works so hope you understood this video we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you